order to make good concrete, we really need four main ingredients and several additives to give it special properties. Uh, the first of the, the ingredients that we use is a type 5 Portland cement. Uh, we're using type 5 because it gives it sulfate resistance and here in the western, uh, western Canada and western United States, that's an issue with the soils that you have, so we're building that in with the special cement that we use. Uh, we also use sand, which is over here, uh, and stone, and then water. Now, one of the things that we look at when we make SCC concrete is the gradation curve. Uh, gradation is the size of the stone. So if I take a handful of stone, you can see that I have uh, stones that are all the way from you know, fairly large to fairly small. Uh, the gradation curve would be a graph where you actually take each size of stone and you, and you plot out what percentage of each size you have. And what we're looking for with SCC concrete, which is the, the type of concrete we make, is a, a well-graded curve. It looks like a bell curve. What we're trying to avoid is a gap-graded material, which would be a curve with two peaks and a, and a valley in the middle. And so we've done a lot of uh, analysis of this material where we would take it and we shift it on sieves and they uh, can count uh, percentage by weight, how much is on each size. And we've selected these materials and we've selected the ratio so that we get that curve that we're looking for. We use several uh, chemical additives that give us different uh, properties that we're trying to bring out in the concrete. For example, we're using a, a super plasticizer that allows us to keep the water to cement ratios very low, which ends up producing very high strength. Another thing that we do to produce high strength is we are adding a, a micro silica which ends up uh, in combination with the Portland cement, the super plasticizer, and the micro silica, we get a, a concrete that's over 10,000 PSI in 28 days, which is an exceptional, uh, exceptional strength. To give you a comparison, if you'd look at a floor or a footer, uh, typical concrete would probably be between three to 4,000 PSI. We're also adding uh, some fibers into the mix, which uh, get dispersed and give the concrete resistance to impact you know, on a construction site, you frequently have someone hitting it with a hammer or, or maybe a, a skid loader, and the fibers will give it more resistance to cracking and chipping. Um, we're also in training another liquid admixture. Uh, it's not this bucket, but another one that uh, entrains a specific kind of air into the concrete that gives the concrete the ability to resist cycles of freezing and thawing, which uh, uh, definitely is pertinent to your weather here in Western Canada. We use an admixture that uh, we entrain into the, the mix that gives it um, corrosion resistance uh, so that the steel uh, can't rust inside the concrete, which gives it more durability. 